Hi and welcome to this video. In today's video I want to talk to you about how to manage purchase requests or purchase order approvals on NetSuite. So there are two easy ways of doing it and there's one a bit more complex, a bit more detailed. And then of course there's a fourth way uh, which is going to be uh, more specific to your business needs. So let's begin with the easy ones. The easy ones are if you go to the employee record that you want to set an approval for. So let's say Alexandre is part of the team, but uh, the head of department needs to be uh, alerted of everything that Alexandre is creating. Then I would set a supervisor on Alexandre's profile. So the supervisor, if I click on supervisor, the supervisor will be the person who approves expense reports and purchase requests. But by having a supervisor, you can also use this as a criteria in any transaction search. You would say, okay, show, show any, um, any employee's transactions where the supervisor is Alia, for example. And then I'll be able to see uh, all the transactions that uh, Alia is supposed to be uh, taking a look at because it's their team, you know, it's whoever she is uh, a supervisor on who created them. So the supervisor is the first uh, possibility. If you decide that you want to have a different person between the expense approval and the purchase approval, then you can uh, remove the supervisor here and then come and put the name of the expense approver and the purchase approver below. Okay, so it would be two different people. But you should not have both. You shouldn't have a supervisor and an expense approver and a purchase approver. It's either or. Okay, so that's the first two easy steps. The second, well, I'd say the second part is the more complex uh, option. Uh, if you go to setup, uh, company, and then you go to enable features, you will go to transactions and you're going to click on Suite Approval Workflow. Once you click on this uh, and it's installed, you should see a green tick box here. Uh, you'll be able to go to Setup, Accounting and Accounting Preferences. And now you should see the approval routing here. Every transaction that you click is now going to be, well, once saved, is going to have its own bundle and workflow assigned and created by NetSuite to let you uh, manage approvals for them. Now, what this means is that now that, let's say you want to set an approval on journal entries, it means that until the journal entry has been approved, then the transaction is not going to impact the GL. It could be quite interesting for people who are looking for a way to control their postings into the GL. Right, so once you've clicked on this, it will create workflows. So all of these approval routings are not just tick boxes, they will create um, some workflows uh, be behind the scene, so on NetSuite. And if you go to Suite Answer 39936, you're going to see everything like. The, the, the steps that each workflow goes through for the approval of each of these transactions. Now, if you go to the workflow itself, so if I go to, let's say, um, uh, customization, workflow, and workflows, I'll scroll down, and one thing you will notice is that the PU approval main is here, and then you're going to have a PU approval for the employee center roles. Uh, meaning that if you only have a user with employee center, they're going to have a workflow for this. NetSuite creates it, but then NetSuite locks the object, meaning that the only thing you can do is release or unrelease the workflow. You cannot modify this. Even if you click on edit, it will just let you do this. Okay, it's not going to let you do anything else. Or even if I click on view here, it's going to show you the uh, actions which are part of this workflow. And some of us are finding this, well, maybe uh, not complete enough based on the company's requirements. And so what they will choose to do is have a look at what NetSuite is doing already, but then 
remove this workflow and then create their own workflows with their uh, additional steps. So you could create workflows yourself by going to customization workflows and new. Uh, we made a short video on this on how to create a basic workflow, so I'll let you have a look at it. Uh, but in any case, these are the four main uh, possibilities. Now that you know how to manage your approvals on NetSuite, don't hesitate to reach out to us if you need any assistance in creating your own custom approval workflow. So I hope this makes sense. If so, don't forget to leave a like or subscribe and I will see you on the next video. Thank you and goodbye.